All right, so if you're not familiar with the Green Hill Center for North Carolina Art, then now is your chance because this is their winter show. It's actually been extended. This features artists from all over the state with all different mediums of art. I spoke with Edie Carpenter of the Exhibit Hall for all the details. Edie, thank you so much for taking time out to be with us today. Let's hear a little bit about the winter show. What is the theme this year? What's this all about? Yes, well, this is the 42nd edition of Green Hill's annual Winter Show Survey of Contemporary Artists from the State of North Carolina. Uh, what's new this year is the exhibition used to only run through the month of January, but we've extended it. Uh, so it's going to be on through February 16th, and that really gives uh, people the opportunity to uh, see these works by 55 artists uh, from across the state, from Newland to Beaufort. So I love the fact that these are all North Carolina artists because our state does have a really deep and rich art community. Um, I mean, you see this more than I do. Talk a little bit about that. You know, I do. I've been, I've been curator at uh, Green Hill Center for North Carolina Art for over 15 years. and. It's really not never ceased to, to amaze me how many artists uh, live and work in the state and come to the state uh, to work and exhibit and teach and mentor other artists. Uh, in Winter Show this year, for example, over 30%, over a third of the artists are brand new uh, to uh, Green Hill. In other words, I've never exhibited them before here. Uh, so there's, you know, there's a really a wealth of talent in our state. Well, thank you so much. This sounds awesome. I'm sure people are going to be lining up. We appreciate you. And they've been doing this a long time. Mm -hmm. The key to the Green Hill Center is that it's all North Carolina artists and their work being exhibited. And there is no theme this year of a particular style of art. It's like all of mm. it together. And you get to see, in some cases, usually it's between about 55 and 100 different artists are represented wow. across North Carolina. Wow, that's a large number. A lot. Have you both, have you all ever been to an art exhibit before? I've been to that one, but it was not this year. It's been mm -hmm. years, though. It's been a long time. I need to get back there. They're a, it's a beautiful facility. I need to go. I think, honestly, the last time I went to one was like an elementary school when my <laughs> art piece made it to like the regional oh, competition okay, or something right. Ooh, like that's that. that's cool. <laughs> It wasn't that great, trust me. It was like a, um, a paper mache, uh, is that what it is? Paper yeah, mache? Yeah, paper. Uh -huh. Saturn? Okay. Like the, like the, the planet. planet? <laughs> Very so cool. I'm, you know, my mom was a teacher, you know how that goes, yeah. so they, they know how to amp up those projects That's and make right. them That's look right. good. <laughs> well, if you ever do get the chance to go to an um, a art exhibit, definitely do it. I've been to a few of them myself, and it just gives you more appreciation for things because you'll see different works of art, and you're like, wow, how did they make that? Um, it might seem to some people like that doesn't seem like something fun to do, but it, you really do discover a lot of yeah. really cool things. I feel things. like you'd feel fancy going, you, you know? do, that too. And like, it's wear a nice something. cocktail dress. And and go yeah. with someone that's an artist and let them explain it all to you. That's what oh, we're going to do. 